Smokers, guys, we have some breaking news out of Elon Musk on Twitter. Who would have ever thought it? Once again, Elon Musk is in the headlines. So today is some good news, in my opinion, okay? I want to kind of go through a bullish case for what he has announced here. And I also want to put like a bearish hat on and kind of look at it from a negative perspective. I want to kind of give both angles, sis, because we don't know what the truth is behind this, okay? But here's what has been announced, okay? So he announced this tweet just a couple hours ago. Just released a lower cost mid-range Tesla Model 3 and super simple new order page, all right? Um, he was tweeting back at some people that were asking him some questions. He says, costs $35,000 after federal and state tax rebates in California, but true cost of ownership is closer to $31,000 after gas savings, okay? Uh, Tesla rear-wheel drive can actually do very well in snow. Somebody asked about snow and ice. He said they did their traction testing on an ice lake. Dual motor all-wheel drive is great, but not required for cold weather just use sport and summer tires all right um you know somebody else asked him another question they said does it come with a uh, with a new mid-range battery or software limited long-range battery he says it's a long-range battery with fewer cells non-cell portion of the pack is disproportionately high but we can get it done now instead of february he says okay so if you look at this car here basically if you type in you know if you guys basically click on the page if you're looking at this you're looking at around thirty $33,000 with the federal tax rebate. And that's also with, you know, what you would save in gas. Okay. Now, once again, if you live in California, you could also get a state, uh, you know, tax credit, of some kind, maybe it brings it down to like 31,000. It's a, about a 260 mile range, which is more than enough for the average person out there. Okay. Unless you're traveling super long distances, uh, it's supposed to go about 125 miles an hour on the top speed, uh, zero to 60 of 5.6 seconds, which is pretty impressive for just a, you know, a mid range car there. If you're, it's got the heated seats. It's still got, you know, obviously the center console, the glass roof and all that type of stuff. So it's a pretty solid car. Now you do have to pay for the enhanced autopilot $5,000 extra if you do want that feature there, guys. So uh, it's a very interesting move. This just came out of nowhere. No one was expecting this, or unless maybe you worked high up at Tesla or something. This just came out of left field here on Twitter. So what I want to do now is I just want to go through like a bearish case and a bullish case on why Elon Musk and Tesla has decided to make this move, okay? Uh, I think we'll go through the bearish one first. I think that's always more fun to go through, and then we'll go on to the bullish case and why this could be a really, uh, you know, good thing for tests overall, okay? So if you're looking at it from a bearish perspective, if you're looking at it from a negative perspective, you see something like this, okay? As a short seller or somebody that maybe doesn't like Tesla or something, you, there are a few thoughts that could go through your head. You could say, one, uh, Tesla, man, they're desperate for demand. They don't have the demand right now that a lot of people think they have for Model 3, okay? Maybe they've just been filling, and that's what I hear from short sellers a lot. They think that Tesla just has that huge back order of people that want Model 3s. They're running through that, and now all of a sudden they're finding that, man, maybe we don't have the demand we think thought we could have with the Tesla Model 3. Uh, and so they're they're in a position now where they're like, dude, we gotta we gotta come out with a lower price car. We can't do the 35K yet, but let's come out with something in the meantime to try to pimp, you know, pent up some more demand. We saw over this past weekend they put out a tweet that said something like um, you know, the federal tax credit might run out. So you know get your get your orders in by October 15th and then that ended up getting removed. And so short sellers or someone negative might say they're desperate for demand. We don't know that okay we we don't know that from, from everything we see as far as numbers demand looks very strong but we don't know you know what the what the actual orders are let's say coming in this week or this past week or something like that there's another you know thing they say is you know tesla they need any money possible to try to look profitable they need every dollar they can get they need deposits they need to try to fill orders they need anything that possible just to get money through the door right now because they're in a situation where this company is 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 has promised profitability and maybe they aren't profitable yet and maybe they're still trying to get there we don't know any of this yet but if you are looking at it from a bear stance that's something you could say you say man they're just trying to get money any way they can they're trying to do whatever it takes possible to try to look profitable to try to uh you know so, show some strength out there they can also you know a lot of bearish people or a lot of short sellers are going to point out when is that thirty-five thousand dollar true cost of a model three ever coming out this was a you know car and it's still on tesla's website thirty-five thousand dollars and that's without any tax credits whatsoever when is that end up going to come through you know if you have a negative stance on tesla you're saying that's just a pipe dream man that car is never going to come. They're never going to make that car. And if they do, it might be years from now. So if you're looking at it from a bearish case, you could definitely say some things, okay? 
However, on the flip side, you can also have a very bullish case about a move like this that Elon Musk and Tesla has made here with this new Model 3, okay? Um, well, it's not a new Model 3, just a different version of a Model 3, right? You could say, you know, if you're looking at it from a bullish case, you're saying they're pushing for as much profitability as possible. Yeah, they're pushing for as much profitability as possible. They want to show as big a profit as possible. They want to show the world that, yes, we can really make money on that bottom line. Not only is that top line going up at a massive rate, but we can make a very impressive number on that bottom line. That is a big thing Elon Musk has been pushing for. It's a big thing he wants. It's a big thing for Tesla at this stage of the company. They want to show profitability. Now, some bulls say we actually don't want to show profitability. They just care about chasing top line. But Elon Musk, he wants to show that bottom line is, is profitable, okay? Another thing, you know, bull, the bullish case could say is they want to push for as many profitable cars sold as possible, all right? So, uh, you know, assuming th this car should be profitable, there's no reason. We've seen experts tell tear down the Model 3s, okay? And the experts that have torn down the Model 3 say this should absolutely be a profitable car, especially when it's sold for 45 to 50, you know, 5,000 or something like that. It should be a very, very profitable car for Tesla, the way they've designed it all, okay? So if you're looking at it from a bullish stance, you're saying, okay, this might be a, you know, a $45,000 car, maybe, uh, you know, for what you know, somebody actually has to buy it for. Of course, they get the tax credit back, you know, 7,500 bucks and things like that. That doesn't affect Tesla. The U.S. government does that, okay? So Tesla's really still getting 45 plus thousand for these cars. So you would just look at it from a bullish stance is, man, they're just trying to sell as many profitable cars as possible right now, trying to get the trying to get their money up, and that's a great thing for the company, okay? Another thing, people, you know, if you have a bullish case, you say, well, they're pushing for market share, okay? This is something that's not thought about. Obviously, if somebody buys somebody else's car, that puts them out of the market generally for three, five to seven years sometimes, okay? However, if somebody buys a Model 3 that already gets them on the electric bandwagon, and the, the chances are their next car is also going to be electric, okay? However, other people that are looking at cars right now, right, might end up going buying an ICE car, and if you're Tesla, now you got to wait for maybe potentially three years, five years, seven years to have a chance to sell them a, an electric car, right? Because people don't just switch, or most people, I should say. Most people don't just buy a car and then, you know, a few months later, a year later, trade it in for another car. That's just not how most people do it. Maybe some people do. Most people, that's not the case. Most people buy a car, they keep that for three years, five years, seven years, depending on their, their time horizon, and then they go get a new one, okay? So Tesla's looking at this. We want to push market share now. We want to get people moved over the electric wave now as much as possible, okay? All these people that are looking for cars out there right now, come, come get a Model 3, okay? And the last thing is, is if Tesla does want to end up raising some money in 2019, if they show as much profitability, as much revenue growth as possible, as, much, as many units sold as possible, it puts them in a better and better position of power for raising money, okay? It's one thing to raise money when you're an unprofitable company that has limited units. It's a whole other ballgame if, uh, if you have these unbelievable volumes, if you have this unbelievable revenue growth, and you have very strong bottom line, it'll put you in a much better position of power Power if you decide you want to raise money and go ahead and do that something like that and raise it you know a billion dollars or a few billion dollars to go do a, another plan or something like that guys so if, if you're looking at the bullish case there are definitely some things to be excited about with this new model 3 uh, model of model 3 um, if you're bearish there there's definitely some things that you have questions about and we'll have to see answers to that we're gonna have earnings here in a few weeks I think that's gonna be a big thing Elon Musk he has to get out there on Twitter once again get some things riled up but I I say this is a positive like like there's no controversy here or something. He's just, you know, announcing a thing. This is a good move for Elon Musk, and this shows the power of his Twitter account. I think it's, I think it's a good thing for him. I think it's a good thing for Tesla overall, as long as he stays away from all that, that conflicting stuff. So let me know what your guys' opinion is down there in that comment section. I would love to hear from you guys as always. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.